Hey there, it's Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to day 24 of my Latvian challenge, four words a day. I am outside. I took a walk around my town because everything is in blossoms. It's so beautiful. People walk, children play, everybody seems to be really happy. It would be so sad if the cold came and all these blossoms froze. And today I'm going to teach you a very short sentence, but I think a very useful one. There will be four words in that sentence, and each of those words will be a single syllable word. So it's going to be easy for you, but it's a weekend. You need some rest, right? So the phrase that you need to learn sounds like this. Jail gun. Kata. And the rhythm of that phrase is no, yes, no, yes. Yes, that's the entire sentence. Jalgan kata. But how would you translate it into English? Well, you can translate it in several ways. Literal translation would sound something like this. Sad indeed, that's so. And you can use it to say that you feel sorry about something that has happened or the situation that occurs right now. So, it is because we skip the word to be in its present or its past form. So we are not saying that it is sad that it is so or that it was so. We are simply saying sad that so and then every Latvian would know by the context whether you mean the present situation or a past situation. So the sentence once more is Jalgan kata. And the last word is ta. Ta. Ta in this situation means so. Ta. Let's say it together. Ta. Ta. And the word that stands before the word ta is ka, ka. This is a very useful word. This is a linking word that, that so, ka, ta. The word is ka, ka. Let's say it together, ka. Very well. And now let's say the both words together, ka, ta, ka, ta. The stress is on the second word, ka. Ta, ka, ta. And the word that stands before the word ka is gun. Gun I translate in this situation as indeed. But gun can be translated in other ways too. Let's just learn its meaning indeed. Suitable for this sentence. Gun. Gun is the word. And it was stressed in this sentence. Gun. Gun. And now the first word. The first word is žēl. Žēl. There is the long vowel. Uh, it's the broad form of that vowel. It can be pronounced narrow as well as e. Eh, but in this word, we pronounce it broad as a. Uh, žēl. Žēl. Let's say it together. Žēl. And once more. Žēl. So, the first word, žēl, is not stressed. We will stress the second word, gan. These two words together are žēl gan. Žēl gan. Sorry indeed. Or sad indeed. Žēl gan. Žēl gan. And the second part of the sentence is katā. Katā. The second word is stressed. Katā. Kata. And the full sentence would be Jalgan Kata. Jalgan Kata. Sorry that it is so, or sorry that it was so. But since this sentence is so short, I will skip in one more word. So if you said the sentence a little differently, if you said not Jalgan, Kata, but Jalgan Yatta. 
So if you replaced the word ka by the word ya, then you would mean it would be sad if it happens so. You would talk about the future. You don't want it to happen so. So you are expressing a regret if it happens so. I would be really sorry if the cold came and the blossoms froze. Žēl gan, ja tā. Žēl, ja tā. Žēl gan, ja tā. Žēl gan, ja tā. Can we say it together? Žēl gan, ja tā. Let's say it again. Žēl gan, ja tā. And the first sentence was Žēl gan, ka tā. So the first sentence was Žēl gan, ka tā. And the second sentence is Žēl gan, ja tā. I hope you like this class. I'll conclude it now by saying uz redzēšanos. Atā līdz rītdienai. Till tomorrow. Tomorrow will be day 25.